please guys we are in 2020 we are in 2020 you need to have mercy on those around you you don't need to be going around with a smelly looking a smelling wig or going around you killing your boyfriends or your husband hi guys welcome back again to my channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for stopping by and if you're a new subscriber my name is lotachi vanessa i make videos every week showing you how to look good and how to slay while making multiple streams of income so if this is something you're interested in watching please hit the subscribe button down below and hit the, hit the notification bell so that every single time i post a video you will be the first to know in today's video i'm going to be talking about how to take care of your wigs by yourselves i'm going to be sharing a few wig tips and tricks and if you check out my other videos i showed you how to launder both a braided wig and a human hair wig taking care of these wigs is paramount and is important because as you know you spend so much money on the wigs so why not take care of it so that you don't spend so much money reviving it back that is the that is what we are going to be talking about today tip number one the very first tip is that you should pay attention to the type of product that you put on your head um i showed you that you should use products that have moisture in them basically you want to pay attention to products that say they are moisturizing and i and i showed you the tresemme's shampoo and conditioner which is what i used and i also i'm also going to show you a few other ones that you can use to ensure that your hair is moisturized if you notice when um, caucasian people or chinese people or indian people wear their hair the hair looks like it looks like um it doesn't look shiny it doesn't look like they've slathered the hair in oil or coconut oil or anything like that. it just looks like the hair has a little bit of luster to it and that is what moisture does your the, the hair they wear needs a lot of moisture not oil um, for the braided wigs you can use coconut oil you can use argan oil you can use basically olive oil on the braided wigs too but when it comes to the human hair wigs you need to use a professional hair serum and one that i like to use is the laura professional hair oil a very little amount i just put down like two pumps on my finger rub it into my hand and rub it down on the hair like i said you don't want your hair to be looking greasy or shiny that is not the normal texture of Caucasian hair and you do not need a lot of serum if you're wearing a human hair wig and you need to have coconut oil or argan oil for your braided wig so take note not a one size fits all approach you need to take note and know the kind of hair you're wearing to also know the kind of products that you're going to use on the hair you also need a heat protectant when you're going to use um heat on your hair like a straightener to straighten your hair you don't want to use that on hair that has not been protected by a serum like a heat protecting spray or a heat protecting serum tip number two is that you should wash your wigs once a month now i keep referring back to my video but i showed you how to launder your wigs by yourselves at home ensure you launder it once in a month to ensure that it stays looking fresh and looking good you don't want your wig by the time you quickly it out of the box to wear it looks like it's been to hell and back it looks like it's seen better days you don't want that for your wig so please wash your wigs once a month if you don't know how to do that just check out this video here and wash your wigs please guys we are in 2020 we are in 2020 you need to have mercy on those around you you don't need to be going around with a smelly looking a smelling wig or going around you killing your boyfriends or your husbands on the bed because of your you know your wigs are smelling always wash your wigs ensure your wigs smell fresh ensure they always look and smell fresh tip number three is that you need to store your wigs well now if you have more than five wigs and you have a, a large closet space like you have a walk-in wardrobe you have somewhere you can store all your wigs on you can obviously make use of a mannequin to store a mannequin head to store all your wigs if you do not have ample space in your closet to store all your wigs on a mannequin head 
there is still hope for you there is a better way that you can actually even store your wig and that is by using ziploc bags or using mesh bags that you can get in the store or on amazon for ziploc bags this is what i mean by ziploc bags these are two types of different ba um, ziploc bags this is the small one and this is the one you find everywhere you can get this and put your wigs in it for example with this wig of mine i the way you put your wigs in the ziploc bag you basically after you have laundered your wigs take the wigs like this you know fold it up and open up the ziploc bag like this and put ones like these if you get to the store you can always buy a pack of this also when you're storing wigs in ziploc bag you want to leave a little bit of space after you close up the bag so that a little bit of air can be penetrating into the ziploc bag so that you know your hair needs air so if you don't have a ziploc bag you can always invest in um dry cleaner bags these bags in nigeria you can get 50 of them for about 2000 naira or even less and you can invest in, in bags like this and use them to store your wig for example i use it to store one of my braid wigs so if you have extra money or you have you have a way of getting this to yourself you can also invest in a mesh bag i personally like the mesh bags because it's you know a mesh bag allows air to pass through allows air to pass through the bags so with these bags you can store the wigs directly into the bag and just close up the bags and just close up the bags this way and therefore you see that the hair is stored properly here and if all else fails and you cannot buy the dry cleaner bags and you can't buy the ziploc bags or you don't have you don't have you can't get the mesh bags the simple thing you can do is also walk into this um to shops that sell or retail synthetic hair and ask them to give you their bags some of the the empty bags for the weaves that they have sold for example a bag like this you can ask them to give you a bag like this and it even it works perfectly you will notice that many of these bags come with holes like they have holes in it so that's another thing you can do for your ziploc bags as well you can puncture some holes into it so that it has so so that air gets through to the hair and then you know you can ask those shops that you know retail synthetic hair for if, if they have extra bags like this and if they give you those bags you can also store your wigs sometimes it's actually even better to store your wigs in those bags because they are long they ensure your wigs remain straight some people come back from work and because you're so 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 tired you just take your hair and you fling it across the hall you fling it on the bed fling it on the bedside table fling it anywhere you want to fling it please don't do that that needs to stop and you can invest in shoe boxes anytime someone gives you a shoe box or you get an empty shoe box or you get a random box please just keep the box because that box is going to come in handy when storing your wig or you can make use of a box size like this to store your wigs and for this box i recommend putting just two wigs in it so for pair shoe box put one wig but if you have a big box size like this you can store two wigs in it you need to wash your wigs before you store them and this is the perfect way you can store your wigs Tip number four is that you need to comb your human hair wigs using a paddle brush or a white tooth comb please don't use a narrow a narrow bevon brush like the ones we used to use back in the day i can't find it anywhere i would have brought it for the purpose of this video but i can't find it but this is the paddle brush this is the paddle brush and the white comb you should use on your hair this is a paddle brush you can see how spaced out it is and a white tooth comb and this is what you should essentially use on your hair this is kind of um comb or brush that you should use on your hair basically the reason for using this is that it helps to avoid shedding on your hair it helps to avoid the hair from shedding it helps to avoid the hair from falling out so that is a kind of brush or the types of brushes that you should use on your hair tip number five is that you should always air dry your wigs do not go and use a um, blow dryer on your wig yeah do not use a blow dryer to to dry your wigs when your wigs are wet like i mentioned in my video put them 
on in an air dry in a place that doesn't get direct sunlight and allow it to air dry on a wrap and wait for the hair to be completely dry before you start styling do not put your hair under the sun because if you put a hair like this one under the sun the sun fades out the color and makes it look look dull so don't put your hair under the sun just leave your hair air dry your hair in maybe in your house on your corridor somewhere that doesn't get natural sunlight that is how you should air dry your hair now the sixth point is ensure that in as much as you're trying to take care of your wigs and you're trying to ensure your wigs look flick your wigs look on flick for whatever occasion you're rocking it you also want to also ensure that what is underneath your wig is making sense please don't don't take care of your wig and then neglect your, your own na natural hair. It doesn't work that way. It's do not wear a damp hair underneath your wig. Do you know what that does to your wig? That just basically makes the wig, the, the, the wig cap start to smell and start to house a lot of crawling things and a lot of dirty things on your hair. So as much as we are, we are talking about taking care of your wigs you also need to try and take care of your natural hair ensure that the hair is well well washed there are no dandruffs there's no lice on the hair because that is just going to transfer onto the wig cap and onto the wig the seventh point is and this is a this is this, this last point and a key tip is that you can use a scissors or a razor comb to cut the ends of your hair if the wig that you're wearing like your puma hair wigs have been through hell and back they have a lot of split ends or you've had the hair for so long and you've laundered it and it hasn't looked like it's coming back to life this is a very good tip take a scissors and cut the ends like the little ends of the hair just cut that off and use a straightener use a straightener to straighten the hair and you'll see that that hair will come back to life like literally like magic it will come back to life let me give you an example when you when you go to the salon to relax your hair or you to, to do your hair after doing your hair the, the um the stylist usually takes scissors and cuts through your hair like to cut like the split ends and you know when she cuts that and she straightens it you see that the hair has like volume it has bounce to it it's the same thing with human hair okay guys so i've come to the end of this video and i hope you learned a thing or two on how to care for your wigs properly if you enjoyed watching this video please give this video a huge thumbs up i would really appreciate it and if you've watched this video to this point and you've not clicked on subscribe really is that how we want to do it's free like come on it's free to subscribe like are you did your village people send you to attack me and to to stomp on my progress click on subscribe for your girl you hear thank you guys so much for watching it has been very very fun filming this video and i hope to see you in my next one bye, bye.